For centuries, the ancient Egyptians have fascinated us with their grand pyramids and majestic temples, which hint at a glorious past, yet their writing remained an enigma. Hieroglyphs, the pictorial symbols used by the Egyptians, were like a locked door, holding secrets of a powerful civilization. For years, scholars struggled to understand these symbols, yearning to unlock the stories hidden within. The Rosetta Stone wasn't a grand monument, rather it was a broken piece of a larger stone slab, measuring about 114 centimeters high, 72 centimeters wide, and 28 centimeters thick. What made it special was its writing. It bore the same message inscribed in three different scripts, hieroglyphs, the ancient Egyptian script, Demotic, a simpler script used in everyday life, and ancient Greek, a language understood by scholars at the time. This meant that the Rosetta Stone was like a translation guide, holding the potential to unlock the secrets of the hieroglyphs. The discovery of the Rosetta Stone sparked excitement among scholars, presenting a chance to finally understand the ancient Egyptians in their own words. The inscriptions on the Rosetta Stone told a fascinating story. They were a decree issued in 196 BC, honoring the Egyptian pharaoh, Ptolemy V Epiphanes. It detailed his good deeds and proclaimed his divine status. The same decree was carved in three different languages, making the Rosetta Stone a powerful tool for deciphering hieroglyphs. Scholars hoped to use the Greek text to understand the hieroglyphic one. However, deciphering the hieroglyphs was not easy. Scholars had to figure out how the three scripts related to each other and understand the grammar and vocabulary of the ancient Egyptian language. The Rosetta Stone presented a complex puzzle, one that took years to solve. Many brilliant minds worked on deciphering the Rosetta Stone. One of the most important figures was Jean-Francois Champollion, a French scholar. Champollion was passionate about ancient Egypt. He dedicated his life to understanding hieroglyphs. He realized that the hieroglyphs on the Rosetta Stone weren't just pictures, they represented sounds and ideas. Champollion's breakthrough came when he noticed something crucial. The hieroglyphs for the names of pharaohs were enclosed in oval shapes called cartouches. By comparing the cartouches on the Rosetta Stone with Greek inscriptions, Champollion identified the name Ptolemy. This was a pivotal moment. It confirmed that hieroglyphs could represent sounds, not just pictures. Champollion's discovery opened the floodgates. Scholars were finally able to translate hieroglyphic texts. They could now read the words of ancient Egyptians, understand their culture, beliefs, and history. The Rosetta Stone became the key to unlocking the secrets of a lost civilization. Through its decipherment, ancient Egypt came alive. We learned about their pharaohs, their gods and goddesses, their daily lives, and their grand achievements. The Rosetta Stone allowed us to hear the voices of the ancient Egyptians after centuries of silence. Today, the Rosetta Stone is a prized artifact. It resides in the British Museum in London, attracting visitors from around the world. Its legacy extends far beyond its physical presence. The Rosetta Stone ignited a passion for Egyptology. It inspired generations of scholars to study ancient Egypt. The decipherment of hieroglyphs revolutionized our understanding of this ancient civilization. We owe our knowledge of ancient Egyptian culture, history, and language to this remarkable stone. The Rosetta Stone reminds us of the power of human curiosity and the enduring fascination with unlocking the mysteries of the past.